Today was a great example for day trading of being patient through a chop consolidation range and then waiting for that one good trade and executing on it. I was able to take a trade that I would take nine times out of 10 and I loved the execution on. We're gonna go ahead and recap that for my trading session right now. So please sit back and enjoy. Well, I pulled up the daily chart today just to give us some perspective here. I guess let's first quickly talk about news. 8.45, we got PMI, 10 o'clock oil. Tomorrow morning at 7.30, we have non-farm non payroll, which I think we potentially hang out until then. Seems to be what everybody's talking about right now. Um, but we do have news at 8.45. So I pulled up the daily chart today uh, just to like give some perspective of the amount of cluster that we're in right now. This is 12, 12 days, uh, top of the range to the bottom of the range on the ES. So just like a lot, very much compressing right now, at least in my, my opinion. Basically, I kind of want to wait for the extremes right now. I just am not interested in trading in the very middle of this range. Um, that being said, we are approaching yesterday's low at 35. We're about 10 points away, hanging out at Valley Area Low. We made the full green to red rotation uh, in the last two hours. Um, so that's interesting. NAS, basically same situation, very close, uh, a couple points away. Made the full rotation, uh, going down for yesterday's lows at 63. I'll go ahead and mark it just so we don't forget about it as time moves on. Um, so we'll see what happens as we approach those lows. Obviously the trend is down right now, but I'm really just, I, I wanna be very scalpy today, especially given what that range looks like, you know? At the end of the day, we are compressing. And I think tomorrow morning's news, I think tomorrow could be the day that we push out of it, um, but we'll see. Yo, Matt made it to a funded account. Thanks for the inspiration. Yo, GG's dude. Congratulations on earning a funded account. Good luck. Be smart. Be patient with it. So the number one piece of advice I can give is to be patient with your funded account and in the evaluations, the combines, be patient. There's no reason to, to rush and try and push just crazy numbers, right? Just do what got you there. Be consistent and good luck with it. Be patient. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you can check out what a funded account is. It's the first link down below. Basically, you go through a two-step evaluation to prove that you're a good trader to a company called Top Step. After that, they give you money to trade with. You get to keep the profits, 90% of the profits. They take 10%. If you lose, they eat that loss. But GG's, dude. Be patient with it. It's a new five-minute candle. Delta looks really good. So the top of the range buy is the more aggressive play here at like 35. I'm going to take it. We had a little bit of a breakout. We rejected opening range low, which makes sense to reject on a first little test. Come back down, test the prior resistance, try and bounce out of it is basically the play that I'm looking for with Delta looking really good. It ran up uh, seven points or so. Go back up and test 53. Need those buyers to stay up as well. Feels like it's kind of slowing down here. Yeah, it's trying to get slapped a little bit. Got 20 seconds left on this candle. I do want to see how it closes. So the good close for the most part. Do or die level basically held. Obviously. <laughs> Had a quick little sweep up. Looking to get, just get filled out here. Jump through my order. There it is. A little lag. All right. I got out at the lows from yesterday. We zoom out. That's what that line is for. You can see yesterday's low right there. It's exactly where I exited. Nice little push, plus 365, happy with that. Um, we held the level that I thought was the do or die level, which was still just, I probably, if I would have held these lines up, you could see it a little cleaner, but it was just the range that we were talking about, right? When we go back and look at this trade, this whole time, this whole 10 minutes, I was saying, I don't want to take a trade here. I want to wait for a clean breakout. We start seeing a ton of buyers, even as we're in the channel, as we're in this like compression zone, right? Compression leads to expansion. Think of like a slinky or a spring. And so as we're compressing here, you start seeing Delta really picking up. Kind of implies move out. We see a bunch of volume. Point of control flips to the downside as well. And then we finally get that clean little breakout. And then we come back down and we test the top of that range. 
we end up holding it for a little bit but again that's what i was saying it's like the do or die spot and then we bounce out of it so that's the trade in a nutshell